I'm Anastasia Canusio. And I'm Colin McManus. We wanted to use our free dance this year to tell a story of triumph over adversity, and we thought that Beethoven and his music was a perfect fit. In the next couple of minutes, we're going to talk you through our free dance and the story of Beethoven's life. The first part of our free dance, the Ninth Symphony, represents the pinnacle of Beethoven's achievements. It is a very jubilant and sprightly piece of music. Colin portrays Beethoven as he conducts, while I represent the music that he creates. Throughout the first piece of the free dance, I'm representing Beethoven at the pinnacle of his career. As I'm skating, I'm trying to portray someone who's who's very happy with where they are in their career, who's making incredible music, and who's maybe a little bit arrogant. Uh, and as we transition into our second piece, which we chose Moonlight Sonata, um, I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm losing my hearing. And there's a specific moment at the beginning of Moonlight Sonata where I pull my ear to my hands, almost signifying that, that loss of hearing. There's definitely a feeling of uncertainty, kind of like, why is he uh, repressing himself? What's happening? You know, he's the reason that I exist as the music. So for me, it's just really trying to pull him out of that depression and get him back to where he was. I'm representing Beethoven at his, at his lowest point. He's trying to find more comfort within his music, and there are moments that Anastasia and I are reaching towards each other and kind of leaning on each other. I feel like we're starting to come together and overcome the deafness and, and the depression. The last section opens with the most recognizable four notes in music. Within our research of Beethoven, it is said that those four notes are the knocking of fate at the door. And we felt that that was the perfect way for us to, to close our free dance with him hearing, hearing fate knocking and trying to compose as much as he possibly could. In the last piece, the music is very complex and very frenzied. Choreographically, we try to match that. We have a lot of ups and downs, we have a lot of turning around, we have a lot of reaching for each other, and we're trying to portray organized chaos and sheer madness, and I think we accomplish that through our movement. Thank you for letting us share our inspiration with you. We are very excited about this program and we are deeply honored that we'll be able to debut this free dance in Beethoven's home country of Germany at Nebelhorn Trophy this September. We hope to see you this season. 